yes, this is part three of cooking my rice and peas Jamaican style. I already had three pounds of rice. This is another three pounds, and I'll be doing three three pound package, which is nine pounds. Make sure my pot is boiling nicely. Oh yeah, it's boiling nicely. It's ready for the rice. Turn it down a little so as not to get any boiling over. Because when you have coconut milk in your pot on a high boil, you will get boil over. You don't want to mess our pot up, so I turn it down to medium. Give me some time to rock, to wash my rice. Once I finish washing it, then I'll turn back up the pot in high. Just looks a little so much. I might hold up a pound. Make sure I don't have too much of a full pot. You want to make sure the amount you're having in your pot at half way in the pot so as not to get your pot too full. Washing my rice here now. Stirring motion just to clean my rice. Big from the bottom. Get it upwards. Get the starch, all that starch off your rice grain. You know, too much of that starch isn't it good. And of course, washing the rice. Always get a nice, healthy heat from it. Drain this water off real quick. So you will see how white it is. Yeah. I don't like having my rice on a one wash where the water is too white. Washing it where the water it starts getting clear, you know, you make a good wash. But I say people have different techniques, I might just need one wash. They throw their rice in. Ready to go now. Yeah. Water is a little clearer. out. Now this technique I use to shuffle the rice in a slant so as not to have the rice puddling out of the pot. When it's in a slant you get the water to drain off much easier and faster without throwing away your rice. It's in a slant, so it stays in the pot much easier. Draining off as much of the water as I possibly can. You don't want to have too much water on your coconut milk that you have there waiting. And this is good. Pot is all the way to the side and nothing comes out but water. So now we're gonna have it. Still boiling beautifully. I'll just turn it back up to high. And then I'm gonna start having my rice. You're gonna have to do this slow. This is a big pot, so I'm gonna take out by hand. Slide it along the side so as to prevent splashing. Try to avoid all splashing. This is the technique you use. This is a big pot over a big pot, so I can't turn it out in there. That's how I get splashed. Once 
you have it high enough where I can see the rice, then what I'll do is just turn the rest of the rice on that side where I know it won't splash and just slide it out. There you go. Comes out nice and easy. All the rice is there. Stir. Once the rice is in there, it's better to use a fork to stir in the, to stir the rice in. So, so you can get that piece to mix into the rice. Fork is the right thing to stir your rice once you get your rice into the piece. and cheese is now ready for boiling. Once the spot starts boiling, then I have to turn it back down to medium to get that slow cook so the rice can steam. You don't want to have it on a high boil. It boils too fast. I also sometimes had two or three spoons of sugar just to give it a little tat of flavor one two three and that's brown sugar mix it in nicely and it adds to the flavor something you don't have to do. As I say, it's just a little addition to the rice and peas flavor. You can add two or three spoons of brown sugar, depending on the size pot you're using. If it was a smaller pot, you could just use a spoon. This is a big pot, so I use three spoons. Mix it in nicely. That's it, rice and peas is on the way, Jamaican style.